you know, there's three councillors here. There's myself and Sam Ghost from the Liverpool Community Independence. We're a small independent socialist radical group that won three seats in the May elections, and there's Tom Crown from the Greens. And it's interesting, there's only three radical, you know, left of centre councillors here. I think it's a real pity that Labour, with 60 councillors, couldn't actually turn up. What I would say... Um, sorry? Yeah, and Joe is another Green councillor who's a good friend. So, um, you know, there are people who want to raise the voice, and I think... All I would say, because I'm here to listen, not to speak, but as long as you have the continuation of the disaster of the Nakba, as long as you have houses bulldozed, as long as you have villages cleared and populated by Israeli occupation, as long as you have something like the 2,000 plus people who died in 2014 and the killings in Janine of seven people this week, I think it's seven, it might be five, just can't remember off the top of my head, Voices on the left, radical voices, need to be raised. And Greg has given me the investment schedule of Liverpool City Council in the weapons of death and destruction. And if there's any way we can raise that, we'll endeavour to do so. I think you'll know what we're up against with Michael Gove. You can spit on the floor if you want to, but don't. Um, there's going to be obstacles to this. And one obstacle is, sadly... The, the lack of action, like you mentioned, the Norwegian government, it's sad that the official opposition in this country is not doing one heck of a lot more to raise the humanitarian disaster and the denial of human freedom that is occurring in Palestine. 